Hello oh, and welcome to this standalone video about our new 6215R John Deere. Um, I normally do a daily blog, but I thought while this is looking really shiny, fantastically validated and nearly brand new, I mean it's two years old to us, then I'll give you a quick tour around it, or just say a more in-depth tour around it rather than a quick tour around it. And um, yeah, then it should answer any questions that anybody's got about what it's got, what features, um, horsepower, stuff like that, and um, we can look into it. Business, stay tuned. So she's got a 6.8 litre, six cylinder engine under that bonnet, uh, running on AdBlue, creating a horsepower of 215 with boost up to 252 horsepower. So it's got some crunch behind it basically. It's it's a powerful tractor, it really is, especially for, for us as a mixed beef and arable farm. Um, it is a really big tractor to us. We are mainly gonna use it, big Mickey in the background there, for um, running our BB9090, which is a full-size Heston baler. Um, it'll also go on a three meter tri-till, um, pulling that through. Whether or not it'll go on the plow, I'm not sure, I think the wheels are too big, but it can be put on that, um, it wouldn't have a problem. We've also got a five meter power hour, which it will pull with ease. Um, so yeah, it's looking quite nice, I mean, Looking around the outside, we've also got a front PTO, which we've never had before. Never had that before, mate. Never noticed that. PTO on front. What's it for that? So you can run if we ever decided to go. So we've got a mower there, a class disco mower, which just goes on the back. Uh, three and a half metres, so it's quite wide. But what we could also do is put a, a front mower on the front now, because we've got the we've got the PTO there. Um, you got bigger poppers? Bigger poppers? Horsepower. Oh yeah, so just saying, 215 horsepower, but it boosts up to 252. Mm -hmm. Business. You got front um, hydraulics on here, so you can operate um, something hydraulically if you wanted to. We've never had that before either. Um, these arms fold down so you can pick stuff up. Front suspension, which pretty much is uh, what every tractor that we have now has got um, so much better and smoother with front suspension. Um, it, it is also the ultimate edition. So that means we get LED lights all around. The Command Pro joystick. Something we never had before. A fridge. Yep, that's new. Never had one of those. It's a little power button there. You can turn it on. So we'll leave that off for now. You got a fridge in it? Yeah. Nice. You like that? Yeah. Smells nice. Where's the gear lever? Just on here. So you can use a pedal, mm -hmm. or you can also not not worked it out yet, so don't you know. Don't quote me on this, but you can just push it forward and it keeps increasing speed as you go forward. And then pull it back. And then I think, yeah, I'm not sure if you flick it. Oh yeah, you flick it to one side and then um, it changes direction. Forward to backwards. So you got a minute, or you can use that bit. So you got sat number on? Yep. So that's the receiver on the top there, Starfire 6000. So I think we're just using what's called SF1 mic, which is just um, a basic auto steer signal and that's correct to like i think it's 10 or 20 centimeters so it's all right for like power and and maybe if you're fertilizing and things like that but if you need like precision like drilling it's probably not good enough although some people may say that i'm wrong but we use rtk for ours um on my 6930 i put on myself and now the chc nav that's on andy's 130 tractor which you'll see in the blogs if you want to check that out you got something missing joe seal sicker <laughs> yeah, there's no Joe Seal stickers on it. Can you imagine me dad will let me put a Joe Seal sticker uh, on it? Just do it and bug it him. Do you reckon? Yeah. Bug it him. Um, what else we got on here? So, I quite like this. <laughs> Loud radio. Um, you can use these to extend out your mirrors, which is pretty cool. And then also, can electrically adjust them. Business. 
I like that. That'll come in handy, that. Definitely. Right, so I've cracked open the door, because you can't crack open the window in these. We'll fire her up and see what she sounds like. Sounds very clean. Very clean. So we placed a 7530 and that was sounded like an absolute beast. Now, this doesn't sound like a beast, but it is a beast, but it just sounds nowhere near as good because it's got all the emissions controls and things like that. I think they're dampening it down. Um, but that's the sort of thing. It's quite nice and quiet in this cab. Um, so I can't complain about that. The seat is fantastic. It really is. Um, you can swivel it to the sides if you want. It's, air, it's an air seat. It's got a heated seat. Um, yeah, it's very, very comfortable environment to be in. And like I say, I'm not fully familiar with all what's going on here because we've never had Command Pro or whatever it's called, Command Arm. Um, but basically, I'm having a little play now. Those are your spool valves that you can use and they're all to hand, obviously. Um, all electric. Auto steer button. These must be something to do with your headland management system. So when uh, you want to maybe activate one of these and turn off your PTO, change the tractor revs, you press one of these and it'll do all in, in sequence for you, so you've not got to go like that, go like that, go like that, alter your revs, you know, it's uh, it's all there. So we'll take it for a little drive, so I think we hold that button in, push it forward, and then we can keep pushing it forward to increase the speed. If we want to stop, we can just put our foot on the brake, Alternatively, we can pull back on that. If we want to go again, I can just use the accelerator. Quite like the simplicity of that. Right. Oh, we've got turnable fenders. Didn't even know we'd got them. So if you look at the uh, look at the wheels there, and there we go. The mud guards turn away, so we can get a bit more lock on which is good because um, the 210 hasn't got that and it's a bit of a pain really. It's just not got a bad turning circle really. I didn't think I'd be able to get round there. I don't think I would with a 210. I think I would have had to put a little bit of a shunt in. She picks up well when you put the foot down. And it is, yeah, I could probably get used to this gearbox. It's quite simple. Like, if I take my foot off the accelerator completely, she stops. I mean, I'm saying, I'm saying that the uh, she's not going to get round here, though, is she? I mean, the 130, it would. Uh, was she going to get round? Do I want to risk it? It has actually just got round. It's just, just got turned round there. Yeah, I'm saying about it taking off, I've not actually got it in the most um, sensitive setting. So we press it to number three there, we should take off a little bit quicker. Foot to the floor now. I think we've got the back end spinning. I'm having to slow down a little bit, looking a little bit concerned. So yeah, I'm, I'm marginally impressed with it, really. Yeah, it's quite a simple tractor to drive. I mean, you jump in some of these fence and uh, how do you work it? But to say I've never really driven one of these, I'm finding it quite easy. Demi? If I the others. Um, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Still only got same speed. Oh, yeah, top speed, 50k, 50k, which is yeah around about 30 mile an hour. Just over 30, I think. But it picks up quite well and simple to drive. 
And it's you huge compared to your car. Hey? I said it's huge compared to your car. <laughs> you don't be able to drive it. Um, I think so. I think he will get hang of it, yeah. I think it is simple enough for him to to work it out. This what? Can this tractor shove and pull? What, how do you mean? Can it do just what it does on back door front? Um, yeah, but normally if you have a front implement, like it, were, it it's set up for a front to go other way. Do you know what I mean? No. So if you had like, say, say you had some tines that came down like that and went like that, yeah. then you'd have to put them up front, you'd put it at this side, but if you're pulling it from back, you'd put your, your headstock at that side. Mm -hmm. So you'd, you have different machinery from up front because it has to mm. be put on from the other side. Have I confused you enough? No, no. 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 I'm getting there. But yeah, you can... If we wanted to, you could put the mill, the PTO, on the front if you wanted to. But, I you know, you haven't told it. Um, I think... I'm not sure. Uh, M? Mick. Mick. Uh, Mick. Big Mick. I'm going to say it's either temperature for climate control. I don't think it's going to be... I don't think it's going to be rain... Rain sensing wipers, is it? You never know. No, you never know. Or it could be an aerial. Mm. Sometimes they use aerial to glass, don't they? There's plenty of lights on it, aren't it? Somebody will tell us though in video. Plenty of lights on. Oh Six, yes. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty lights on it. Lots of lights. Happy though because he's like it ain't got as many lights as me one thirty because it ain't got them on here. I think fourteen's enough, isn't it? I think it's. I think it's got enough, man. <laughs> It's got that one them to the side, which is like what you really want. Yeah. The top of the cab, so you can actually see all the way around you. Um, yeah, I think it's got enough. What's up? The lights on black. <laughs> you gotta be able to see behind you. Um, it's got hydraulic top link, so we've never had that before. What does that look like? So you can just alter it on a, a lever in the cab. So you can adjust your machine a lot easier. Uh, it's, these are hydraulic, what's these that? stabilizers. What's that, a bollock, bollock joint? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what you bought, that's what your pin goes through. Your bollock joint. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, all electric spools, which we've seen in cab. Apart from that, it's all pretty, oh, ABS. I think that's ABS. Is that right, Mick? You'll know this from being a lorry driver. Yeah, it will be. Is it? Yeah, yeah it will be. That's not what it is. No, that's your trailer lights. Mm. Unless it's like a... It will be. Unless right. it's lighting. It will be. A different type of lighting, I don't know. You got all the pipes for it? What do you need? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Proper mud guards. There's two tens got shorter ones because we had bigger tyres specced on it. But the mud guards, we didn't have them extended. So you get muck all over windows. With this, we're not going to have that same problem. Although, we are going to have to use Ad Blue now. Did you think you did? Yeah. Well, I'd say so. Yeah. I mean, it's gaffer, isn't it? Yeah. Don't know why he's got one so big, but... Yeah. We've already got a big tractor. Yeah. I like nimble yeah. ones. Yeah, see you later, mate. Oh, so this is quite neat. So it's got variable steering, so... What that? See the movement of the tyres. Then you flick that one. Steers a lot more to each turn. That's cool, that. I like that. So if you go into the menu settings, we've got climate control. Just alter there. Uh, lights, we can change which lights come on on the different presets, which lights come on on the timed one for five minutes. Look, we don't need it for five minutes, like probably 60 seconds is going to be well enough. Um, PTO, we can change the different gears on that. Rear hitch, change the Oh, stabilization, so that's the, um, the hydraulic arms, stabilizers, raise and lower, upper limits, um, your draft settings, 
uh, rear scroll valves, change all the different pressures on them if you want. Steering, now oh, that's a variable steering that we we're messing about with earlier. Front hitch, do a little bits and bobs with that as well. Oh, loads of stuff, application, oh we've got this auto track, that's stuff that I'm going to have to learn because um, I've not used that system before. And yeah, users and access. So I'm guessing you can set up your own accounts if you wanted to do that. But I'm going to try and move away from that. As soon as my dad will be using it, I want everybody to be using the same buttons for the same things so that I can just say, right, press A on there or press B on there. And I know that nobody else has set up their own little profile for it and everything's completely different. Um, just so I can talk people through it on the phone as we're going through. Very important piece of equipment, the passenger seat. That also folds down so that you can write stuff on it. Always useful. Um, Isaac loves it. He loves playing with that, trying to pull that down. Looks like it wants to be a WD-40 though. Ooh. Doors have become a little bit easier to, to open than the 30 series, but um, that's how it goes. We'll have a look outside. But yeah, try and get out of this winter sun. I think I've covered about everything that I've got knowledge on about this tractor so far. When I start using it, I can start showing you a bit more about it, using it in the field and things like that. We haven't got any real proper work for it to do at the minute, apart from maybe cutting some muck and stuff like that. Don't want to get it mucky yet. Um, but yeah, hopefully um, over the next few months, we can have another look at it, talk about the guidance, show you how the guidance works on it. When I've got um, um, a more of an understanding on how to use it, maybe get Matt out here and he can just tell us how to uh, to get on and uh, and use it but i'm sure it'll be simple enough because john deere's do seem to be quite a simple tractor to use um everyone seems to be able to get in them and just just get on so um yeah we like it um i said it's a little bit too big i think personally but um it's what my dad wanted he saw it and he liked it and um, he's done a deal with matt and we've got it in the yard so um here for I don't know how many years, maybe five years we might keep this tractor, something like that, unless something comes along and blows us away. But um, yeah, this is gonna be here to stay. So thanks for watching guys. Anyway, if you've liked it, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you've not already. I'm gonna get back on with doing some mixers and different bits and bobs. Um, so you can check that out in the daily blog. And if there's anything you think I've missed when looking around this tractor, or you want me to go into more detail, or you want me to cover some other part of it that I maybe didn't have the knowledge on this time, then please let me know in the comments and we'll try and um, we'll try and fit that in. I'm also looking for, just before we go, a phone holder of some sort to come off here to hold the phone at the side. I think that'd be really ideal. Um, just a nice little uh, addition. If anybody can recommend one, then please do get in contact. Ah, away we go. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Like I say, we will see you in the next one. Business, bye.